I'm Torino, a friend of Volturas. Gracious Voltura has told me to obey your orders, Effendi. Where is the Campbell expedition? There. Two of them stand before their accursed house. <laughs> Buongiorno, signore. I'm looking for Professor Campbell. I'm Douglas Campbell. Count Bonito Torini of the Italian Colonial Secretariat. I am ordered to escort your expedition to the Italian mandated territory. You're most welcome, Count Torini. We've been expecting you. This is my associate in ancient languages, Mr. John Spencer. Senor. How do you do? My government tells me you are seeking the legendary tablets of Hippocrates. Not legendary. The tablets exist together with other treasures of great value. The papyrus left by Hippocrates himself describes the actual hiding place of the tablets. Then you have the papyrus? No, no, it's, it's being brought here from a Coptic monastery in Ethiopia. We were hoping you might have some news of the men who are bringing it. Dr. Grayson and Major Reynolds. Professor Campbell, Doc and the Major are coming. Hey, I've got the papyrus, right here. Splendid, splendid. Red, take the horses. Yes, sir. Oh, Dr. Grayson, Major Reynolds, Count Torini. Doctor, how do you do? No. How do you do, sir? See what you can make out of it, Spencer. Oh, yes, of course. Gentlemen, I'm, I'm afraid I can't translate this papyrus. In modern times, only one man ever completely mastered the ancient Assyrian in which this is written. That man was Henry Gordon. Gordon's dead. We're not certain of that, Spencer. His daughter, Nyoka, never admitted his death. You were a member of his expedition, and you believe he's dead, don't you? Well, I am not sure. You see, I was wounded in the early part of the attack. But I contacted Nyoka some months later through friendly Bedouins, and she told me then that she would never leave the desert until she had found her father, or had conclusive proof of his death. But the papyrus is no use to us without Gordon to translate it. It may be. Nyoka Gordon was thoroughly schooled by her father. She'll translate the papyrus for us. Your pardon, gentlemen. But is this papyrus so vastly important? It's the key to the greatest secret of the ancients, the golden tablets of Hippocrates. And these tablets are of gold, you say? Yes. Their commercial value is large, to say nothing of the huge treasures buried with them. But their real worth is their great value to humanity. Spoken like a true physician, Dr. Grayson. Engraved on the Hippocratic tablets is the secret of the only cure for cancer the world has ever known. Why don't we ask Nyoka Gordon to come here and translate the papyrus? By all means. I'll send Ibrahim with a message to have her come here at once, gentlemen. I must send a message to Voltura at once. for your message. Answer the summons. Expedition has the papyrus and he's awaiting Nyoka Gordon, who alone can translate it. You must act quickly, Torini. If this is true, it is fortunate indeed, Maghreb, that you didn't kill this Nyoka as I ordered a few months ago. She's the only one who can lead us to the treasure of Hippocrates. Order my horses, my cape. <laughs> Thank you. 
brings you to this humble huddle of tents, gracious one. Confidential matter, Cassin. Let's go into your tent. Freshman's gracious one? We haven't time. Get your men together. Nyoka Gordon must be captured at once. Why, Voltura? She's of no interest to us. Does it interest you to know that she holds the secret of the treasure her father hoped to find? The riches of Hippocrates? None other. Move quickly, I tell you. Come, Satan. <laughs> Danger may lurk in this cave of Nyoka. Let me send men with you. Satan could crush a dozen men. He'll protect me. You keep Nyoka's Bedouins away from the cave. We'll do the rest. <laughs> What are you doing here? She's well secured. Volturo may have need of her when she returns with the papyrus. Volturo. Don't use that name, Torini. Here, I'm Nyoka. No wonder you rule the desert. You're always right. But. There's trouble ahead. With the expedition, there's a Major Reynolds who knows Nyoka. Does anyone else know her? No, I'm certain he's the only one. Then arrange for me to meet him first. Alone. You can silence him unaided? Easily. A poison needle brings death swifter than a bullet. If you'll be in front of their quarters in five minutes, I'll see that the Major is there to greet you. Major Reynolds. Nyoka. Why, you don't look like... Why, I don't recognize you. Perhaps I've changed since you saw me last. It's nice to see you again. Well, thank... The stone in your ring is sharp. For a purpose, Major. 
There, it won't trouble you at all. It may be absurd, but I feel faint. Won't you sit down? Thank you. You feel as though you were dying. Perhaps death is the message I bring you. That's a silly thing to say. who you are? I'm Nyoka. Nyoka Gordon. This is terrible. It is Nyoka's. Early Fang leads us on a true trail. You stay here and guard the white girl. We ride to set the ambush. Let her escape and you will find death a pleasant relief from your punishment. Come. Untie me, boy. Untie me. We must stop Kasib's men. They go to attack white friends of mine on the Wadi Batha road. Yes, Sahiba. Go home, Fang. Go home. The signal! Remember, Voltura and the Italian Torini must not be harmed.
with them? I want to know their plans. Cursed Nyoka, what evil spirit brought her here? Who's that new bunch? Looks like they're on our side. We're shooting at the Arabs that ambushed us. Altura, Allah be praised. Come, I have the papyrus. I crawled away to get more ammunition. When I returned, the professor was unconscious and she was gone. And the papyrus with her. That's a shame. I've always felt that the papyrus would give me a definite clue to my father. I know he isn't dead. What do you think Voltura's next move will be? To take the papyrus to her temple and have it translated if she can. Would it be possible to attack their temple and recover it? The place is too well manned and fortified. However, one or two people might be able to sneak in. You and I can do it. Oh, I say you can't do that. I have a hunch we can. The expedition is stuck here until Red can patch up that tire. But Nyok and I can carry on. Dr. Grayson is right, Professor. Abu can show you back to my camp. Your mechanic can bring the car in later. Let's get at it. Those guns. Tie him up, Nyoka. I'm sorry about your robot. As I have said before, it's in a strange tongue and beyond even my power to translate it. But Nyoka knows, and those imbeciles allowed her to escape. Answer the summons. We'll take that papyrus. Get it, Nyoka.